Hello there everyone and welcome back to Coaster of the Week. Um, first of all I'd just like to say a big apology for not having no episode last week. This was because I was just really tired because I had lots of hard work over at college. And um, So yeah, so here we are back for another episode of Coaster of the Week. And this week we are going to be reviewing Escape Fall. Now this is a fantastic roller coaster I've designed. It's one of, my, it's one of the fastest roller coasters I've ever created. And it's crazy, it's thrilling and it's got... All these different types of road features I've used, like over here is an elevator that takes the train up in the air, and then suddenly it really it dispatches the train going into the air. So what we're going to do? We're going to start off with a ride POV, and then we'll show you from there. But this time we're going to use watch camera because it, the elevator takes the train up in the air. So let's get on ride. Oh dear. Sorry about that, because that's gone into a test mode. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reset it. Just go into my tutorial center, and then it all should be working again normally. Because sometimes with these coasters that are inverted or like you don't have a lift, they do do a test mode, like it slows down and then it goes really fast on the next one. So let's have a ride on its skateboard. So we ask this to lift, it takes the train up in the air, and then it dispatches it. And then the lift goes back, the track goes back at the bottom, but look how fast this one goes. And I like it how I've created banks, a loop as well to slow the train down. And of course it goes fast as well. A few bit of air time and then just in the station really. Now it just slows its way down because the lift's there. And yeah, it's just a really good case of that one was because I managed to like the, the lift is already placed there so you can't literally edit it or anything how high it can go, but here we are, ready for dispatch. And then literally it'll just come down really fast. Let's get a good POV of it. There it goes, how fast that went. So let's have a look at our Status. Let's have a look at our thrill data for this one. Uh, it's the thrill is 86, naughty is 51. That's okay. It's not too bad, but as you guys may know, it is a very fast roller coaster, and the max speed is 64.20 miles per hour. The average is 36.93 miles per hour, and you're on it for about 30 seconds, so 29.54 seconds. That's not a long ride, and the length is quite high get six drops and one inversion which is the loop itself. Gotta go to statistics now. I will change the ticket price in a minute. As you can go so two thousand nine hundred and ninety pounds, nearly three thousand to build, six five to pound fifty, but I'm gonna reduce that down. Power needed is three thousand five hundred, the capacity of the train is twelve and yeah the money is just going up. I haven't had many customers on this ride yet because it hasn't been around for a long time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to change my ticket price. £8.50 is expensive, so I'm going to reduce that all the way down. Say about 2 50 This time, let's make it a bit more. So, um, yeah, the, so here's the train. I'll show you the train. It's like, it's got these, it's like, um, it's like a bomb diving coaster. Like, you know, I don't know what, I'll go into my build menu, I'll see what the type of car is so coaster build your own it's an aqua car actually it's like it's underwater which is really good and I like it when it's yeah I like the design of the train I like the massive lift as well when it takes you through and it is quite fast as well so literally yeah let's go for yeah as you can see the track does go missing because the lift does take the train up in the air for a few seconds and then the, once the train has dispatched from the track and then the track just comes down yeah, it's just like you know roller coasters has been my interest in things and this is one of my fastest roller coasters ever it's just been absolutely fantastic reviewing this great coaster so I hope you all I hope everyone has enjoyed this fantastic video of Coast of the Week it's been two weeks ago since I last made this one and now it's been fantastically good and 
it's, it's great to see it back on the channel and hope you guys have enjoyed it. So, my name's been Jamie Bramfrey, this has been Coast of the Week, Series 2, Episode 7, and that means it is time to roll those credits. See you next week, everyone. Have a good one. <laughs>